Hello everyone, Nosy here, aka Icon7. Today I will be talking about the check spots on the short wall jungle gym. I made a video on filler pallets as well as TL wall check spots, so if you want to check that out as well, I will leave a link in the description. It's honestly insane how invincible you can feel if you know all the check spots. Today I will be covering up the short wall jungle gym, as I said before. It is insane, and I feel like everyone needs to know these check spots and I really enjoy making these videos. I'm trying to keep these guides very short but also very detailed and informative because as I said in my previous videos I don't want to make this too long and too overwhelming otherwise it's a lot more difficult to like follow along. So yeah I hope you don't mind that it's too short but I'm trying my best okay. Also I'm really sorry for my voice because I haven't slept in a while but I hope that doesn't bother you so let's get into it. Okay let's go through the check spots and then I will show you how insane it is in a chase. Check spot number one, I can see the killer from the window as well as to my left as well as to my right. This is from this position. Check spot number two, from this position I can see the killer to my left as well as to my right and from this position I can see the killer to my right as well as to my left. Okay we know the check spots, now let's get chased. Now I'm moving from this check spot to the next check spot and right here I will wait because I need to know if the killer is committing from my back or if he's going to double back from the pallet side and I will show you what I mean by double backing from the pallet side. After voting the pallet I will immediately go back to my check spot and from there I will see if the killer is committing and it seems like they are committing and I'm also going to look through the pallet in case they don't double back while I'm moving to my check spot. From this check spot I'm moving to this check spot again, I lost complete line of sight from the killer, I have no idea where the killer is, but I'm in my check spot, I'm in my safe zone, I'm completely invincible right here. Now I'm looking behind me in case the killer is committing or I'm looking towards the pallet because some killers just wait till they lose line of sight and then they move from the back side from the pallet side and I will show you an example later. In this case they come from behind and I'm voting the pallet again and I'm moving back to my check spot but while doing so I'm still looking behind me because remember when I told you some killers love to double back and that is if you don't look behind you the killer might have double backed and they will come from your right side because you didn't see them because you're not looking behind you but always look behind you because you don't know when the killer is about to double back near the pallet. Let me show you a better example now over here it looks like the killer is going to the right right? It looks like it's, you know, the killer pretends that he's going towards the right and I'm moving towards the left, but I'm moving to my safe zone. Now I'm standing still here. That's all you have to do. You have to wait here because you don't know if the killer is actually committing from the pallet side or they might have double backed again to come from your left because they know you lost line of sight and they will try to take advantage of this. But since we are in the safe zone, we shouldn't have any problem. Because from this check spot where I'm standing now, I can see where the killer is coming from. So I can see if the killer is actually coming to my left or he's coming from behind me. In this case, the killer comes from behind me, but I know because I'm, I'm having my check spots. And over here, it's also very important when you reach this position, this check spot again from this side, you still need to look behind you if the killer is actually committing because sometimes they will also try to double back from the pallet side and go behind the wall from the pallet and try to catch you off guard from here. But don't worry, we can fix this. Now, if you think that the killer might be double backing behind the wall because they lost line of sight and they try to take advantage of that, simply look forward in front of you for like split second. Look towards the pallet and that's it. Just quickly look towards the pallet and then you can just wait at the pallet because this is your safe check spot. You can just wait here and if you see the killer coming from your right, you vault it and if you see the killer is going around the pallet, you just go back to your same check spot again. And Chase, I'm vaulting the pallet, I'm looking behind me, I'm waiting here for a second, he's coming from behind me, I'm waiting here for a second, he's coming from behind me and then I vote the pallet. Now I told my friend to chase me and try to catch me and this is how it looks like. Now it looks like my friend is going that way, right? It looks like they, they're going that way, right? Now what any survivor would do, or most survivors would do, if they panic, they would just continue running, right? But no, I'm going to stand here because this is my check spot. And now I see, oh, he's coming from that way because they did moonwalk. And then from here, I will wait here. This is my check spot once again. And I'm looking through the pallet in case they are double backing from the pallet. And of course, I'm looking from behind me in case they come from there. In this case, they come from there. They come from behind me. But are they actually committing? Or will they double back again? Well, 
over here, I will stand still because I need to know. And they do double back because I'm waiting at my check spot. And then I vote the pallet again. Here is another example. Now they're coming from behind me. I'm voting the pallet. I'm going to my check spot. I'm waiting here. I see that they're coming from behind me again. But are they coming from behind me or are they double backing? In this case, they did double back. And I'm taking the pallet again. And over here again. I'm waiting at my check spot to see if they're committing or are they actually double backing and they did double back and then I take my pallet again and you are completely invincible. Near the locker and near the check spot. That is the two positions that you need to know when to vault a pallet because do not panic. A lot of survivors like to panic, I know, once they see a little bit of the red stain, they start to panic and they vote the pallet multiple times. I've seen survivors get caught like this on such a pallet, which is insane. All you have to do is wait till the killer reaches that check spot, that certain area, and then you have to vault the pallet. Now, as you can see here too, once they reach near the locker, that's where you vault the pallet. I also want to mention something that I didn't mention in my previous videos and that is the perk Resilience. Now Resilience allows you to vault 9% faster and the reason why I did this whole guide being injured is to show you the power of Resilience because even if the killer does have a slight bad connection, Resilience does make the difference and it makes it look like the killer doesn't even have a bad connection because the amount of times Resilience saved my... I was about to say something. <laughs> the amount of times resilience saved me from killers with bad ping is insane. I want you to keep in mind that these are check spots. These are really advanced tips against really, really good killers. Now, no matter how good the killer is, if they play an M1 killer, they will not catch you on that pallet. It is simple as that. No matter how good they are, if a survivor knows their check spot, they won't get hit. I know a lot of people would say, why would you not add the window? There is no need. There is no need to use the window. Maybe you can use the window when you're entering the jungle gym, like once, and then you can start using your check spots. I think that's probably the best thing how you can do it. But you don't need the window against really, really good killers. All you need is your check spots and you will see how well that works. The window might be fun to play around with, especially against like average and baby killers. But if you're playing against a really good killer, use your check spots. They are absolutely insane and they will make you feel invincible, really. One trick that I want to mention, I wasn't going to mention that since I'm only talking about check spots, but I mean, it's cool. And since we're talking about the window anyway, I mean, I don't even know if it has a name, but I just call it the short wall loop fake. And it's pretty much when you're entering a jungle gym, make it look like you're going to the left. In this case, it's left, uh, could be right. Um, but then you just take the window and I mean it can be cool confusing a killer but like I said against good killers check spots yes check spots um, but yeah these are the check spots on the short wall jungle gym next video will be the long wall jungle gym and so on I will cover up every single tile no need to worry I know some people in the comments are saying can you do shack can you do main building all these videos will come don't worry. I honestly love making guides and my whole channel is pretty much based on guides and gameplay. In case you might wonder I will stop making guides, no, I will forever ever keep making guides for all of you because I love you guys, you know? I also stream on Twitch but just in case you might wonder that I haven't been live for like a week and I did mention that in my first check spot video and that is because my GPU is bad it's it is so bad i can barely run games and stream i'm not financially stable right now to get a new one so it's it might take some time but you know i'm not gonna be gone forever of course anyways i hope the video was helpful and of course like always mommy knows she loves you bye